The message today is the prophetic season. Turn to someone and say the prophetic season. And when we think of the prophetic, most don't know we're talking about what has been prophesied to come to pass. What has been talked about that will happen. Even though it has not happened, it will. Oftentimes when folks talk about the prophetic or, or prophetic ministry, they don't understand what it means. The prophetic minister is not praying for somebody or laying hands on somebody, even though that might be part of it, but that's not what it is. It's not declaring infirmity or suffering that a person is going through. That's not what it is. Understand this, when we talk about the prophetic ministry, we're talking about somebody can see into the future. And it's not based upon individual prophecy or declaration. When you see you are been placed as a watchman, turn to somebody and say, I'm a watchman. That means you've been placed in a position a little higher than everybody else in camp. Have you ever seen those old westerns? I had to bring the westerns in there. And then you see the fort where the soldiers dwell in. In one corner of that fort, you will notice that there's a watchtower. Am I right about that? And whoever is in that watchtower is watching out for the rest. Why are they determined to be a watchman? It's because they've been elevated higher than the rest of the folk so they can see what's coming a distance. Am I right about that? So what God wants to know, if you have a prophetic ministry, you ought to be able to see what's coming. Amen? For as what is happening to you individual, as a child of God, you have a relationship with him. I don't need to have to tell you what's happening to you or what God is speaking to you about. I want to ask you a question. Are you a child of God? Yes. Is God your father? Yes. Do you have a relationship? Yes. Are you on talking terms? Yes. Well, if that's the case, then you can get a word from him yourself. Yes. You don't have to go to the sisters or the neighbor or the parking lot prophet. You trying to take a shortcut. If you ask him, he will speak to you. He don't always speak audible. Sometimes he speak just from a word you heard or when you're reading. You ever been reading and, and a word spoke to you? And you know it was God. Praying. I remember the first time I really heard God speak to me audible. I was praying on my knees, and I'm there praying, and I'm, I'm just getting ready to go to bed. You know how we pray the little short prayer. Thank you for the day. Thank you for life. Thank you for health and strength. Then I heard a voice speak to me, Stanley. I looked around. My wife was gone. She wasn't there. She was in Bible study or someplace. And I prayed again, and I heard the voice say, Stanley. Then I realized it was God calling me. Now, I, I, I thought just calling us to call. But later on, I understood it was calling us to be called to the ministry. 
He don't always speak to me like that. God sometimes speak to you through thought. You're sitting there and you're meditating and all of a sudden a thought come to you. And you discern, well, this is a spiritual application. God is speaking to you. I'm saying that because I don't want you to confuse a prophetic calling with someone that has the gift of ministering or exalting. Amen? If they are a prophetic calling upon their lives, I want them to tell me what they're saying. And I will do that today. If you have a prophetic call, I'm going to ask you, what are you seeing? I'm not talking about right now. What is coming? The Lord said we are to warn the people, Pastor. We are to let them know what's coming so they can prepare. Y'all getting quiet on me. Am I talking right? All right, the prophetic season is the season that the prophets see that is coming and already been foretold. So when we talk about the prophetic, we're talking about something that is going to happen. And it's not just for individuals. When you see prophetically speaking, you see for everybody. What's coming will affect everybody. Turn to somebody and say everybody. So when you tell me you are prophetic, calling, tell me what's coming. Are y'all still praying for me? Still love me? I'm saying that because this is a season that the watchmen need to be watching. You need to be telling us, warning us, and there should be more than one voice. 